My name is Rhapsody, and welcome back to Slay the Spire Downfall. We're going to be continuing with the Sneko. Uh, I'm not really climbing with the Sneko, so I think what I'm going to want to try and do here, because I'm also a little short on time, uh, is do a, a Sneko Ascension 1 speedrun. Just go as hyper-aggressive as I possibly can. Okay, we have the Watcher. We also have Ironclad, obviously. That's going to be particularly good there. Also, by the way, I do want to make sure that I shout out at the very start of this episode. Thank you to Oscar. Oh, let's just recall that, I guess. Um, thank you to Oscar, who made the image masks that are overlaying the layer that is uh, usually showing the energy and the cards. You can see them there looking really neat. Uh, unknown draw card. Sure, seems like that could be pretty relevant. There's a lot of decent draw cards in each of those classes. I shouldn't have gone there. I forgot that was a shop. That's my bad. Uh, memorize, sure. That'll probably help us keep a hyper-aggressive card. Confused. Unknown attack card. <laughs> um, I guess we could probably try and take last stand. Yeah, I'll take last stand. We're trying to save ourselves using it. Three shell Monty. Follow the prizes and shops around. All right. Uh, rewards or cursed normality. All right, we're going to go hard. Okay. I'm just keeping an eye on the normality because that's the only one I don't want. That's normality. Cool. More than happy with the uh the pickup there. <laughs> sure, I'll take a uh, free relic there as well. Another free relic, please. Scrappers, come on, come on. All right, we are getting so many selections here. Uh, pair. Yeah, I'm not going to be going to Nyao, so we're not going to be even taking that, I imagine. Wow, we could have dunked both. No, we couldn't have dunked both elites. Never mind. Uh, Rod of Bolstering Flames. Unknown upgraded vulnerable card, sure. So we get Snake Sap there, but that's still reasonable for us. Take the more power and a single defend. Gives us the full defense factor that we need there. Get a single attack out as well. Eruption is a really good card to memorize in this deck. I'll be taking that, thank you. Uh, I just want a Roth entry in the base deck. On an upgraded attack card. Uh, Rain of Dice. It's going to be a huge amount of damage, trust me. What are the highest guys card in hand? <laughs> Probably should have cast both of the attacks before I did that, just in case. Seems like that would have been the right play. Whoa, Berserk is so... It's so not what I want to be using right now, but I also do want it out on the field. I mean, if I'm ever going to play it, I play it this turn, right? Uh, shrug it off. Oh, stand, strike. I think I'm waiting for Eruption and then Windmill Strike in the next cycle. might not be something that we get all the way to, it looks like. We should have rested. Uh, rested, rather, taking the return potion earlier. Oh, now I have defensive mode. Interesting. All right. Come down. Uh, I'm going to come on upgraded attacker. I'll take the x Ghost, I guess. Frozen egg as well as another memorize. Hell yeah. This would be such a good run if I would just slow down. But I can't and I won't. Uh, upgrade the eruption to become one cost. Huge change for the deck there. Let's exploit that, as well as the last stand for a decent amount of strength. More power. I probably should have just played Expunger at the very start there if I really wanted to really wanted to have an impact here. Crush Joints. It's a really good vulnerability card. Alright, let's collect that. Do I take 20 damage here so that I can try and do more? No. We're not going to get back to it, and that's going to be fine. Uh, I know, it's a, it's a speed run-ish. It's a run in the style of speed. Best damage I could put out there. I know an upgraded rare attack, sure. I know an upgraded draw, thank you as well. Uh, literally can't afford anything in there, so I think that makes an easy decision for us. 
More power becoming zero cost is pretty good because we aren't going to be guaranteed to get the energy relic. And in fact, it might be an, a more aggressive option not to get the energy relic after this next upcoming fight. Feed. Okay, well, we just have to find a way to do that. So option, Roth. Obviously, don't want to hit the enemy with that. Uh, 33 and then feed. Boom. Four max HP. Thank you. Dice block. I am putting a lot of unknowns in this deck. Sure. Let's take one single defend there in the ice block. Dice block rather, sorry. Uh... Yikes. Well, that worked out a lot better than I expected it would. Do you have an AOE card in the deck? Nope. Uh, definitely more power needs to go out there. Let's miracle before we rain a dice and then put out the last stand because that's kind of overdue. And then sentry blast as well. Great. Not going to be taking any damage as a result of this fight. Uh, missed the strike there. Whoops. Hit the wrong one. Unknown card into the deck. Unknown. Upgraded rare power. Sure. Transmog. Yeah, let's transmog a bunch of those relics. See if we can at the absolute least. I think I'm going to just try and set up a bunch on turn one. Alright, Transmog. I don't even know what we're Transmogging. Uh, Rod of Bolstering Flame? Ma, oh, that's good. That don't need any Transmogrification. I hope we back atop the deck and then... Get him with that and, that and then a Defend. Alright, alright. Enemy does a Giant Sunder. Hyper Beam, I still... Because the enemy keeps putting the voids atop my deck. All right, snack bite. Here you go. Thank you. I told you we we're fine. Lantern, Rod of Bolstering Flame. We'll take the Rod of Bolstering Flame back. Uh, unknown Upgraded Skill? Sure. Specifically, Unknown Upgraded Rare Skill. I'll take a restock as well to try and go as quickly as we can. Speaking of quickly as we can... We're going to need the Coffee Dripper, uh, or we're going to need to be able to rest. We're going to need to be able to play more than eight cards per turn. So sure. Six cards per turn, rather. Maybe eight cards per turn. I don't know. We haven't seen the rest of the deck yet. Okay, there's only a two elite path, although it looks a little denser than that. It's not actually. Take this part on the opening, get the Break Emeralds, get a single point of decks. I also really do want the last stand upgraded because... The upgrade to that is what's going to enable us to try and get some healing in a bunch of these fights. I mean, obviously, you snack bite first and see what goes up. There we go. Yeah, I'll do it. It's transmog. It's transmogging question card. I could get rid of question card. I wouldn't be super jazzed about it, but I could do it. The Coria versus question card. Let's look at the rest of the stuff here. Uh, unknown upgraded vulnerable. Soul roll because we're starting to get more expensive cards. Coria question card. I'll still take question card there. The fact that we have two of the eggs makes question card pretty dang powerful right now. Oh my god. All right. Well, which of these gives the most skills? No, no, yes. Your turn. Your turn. Roll them and then kill. Beautiful. I oh got the deck. I don't know. Common power, sure. Cheat's pretty good. Memorize is pretty good. Cheat's only good for one thing in the deck at the moment. No, cheat's not good. Master right though. Master Eye is pretty good. That's what we really want. Alright, back line down. Now we just need the front line up. Uh, Spirit Shield into Crush. Get a Master Eye out there and then a Multi Beam as well. Ah, uh, right, the Multi Beam positive no longer hits for X plus one. Okay, so that was less likely to work. Up. Uh, I mean, I can kill, so we'll transmog first, then kill. See what the transmog is. Pantograph versus question card. Still question card there. Although Pantograph is relatively close. 
uh, soul cleanse that is a roll that is not, or, or rather is guaranteed not to hit a specific thing. Happy about that. Unknown draw card. We want our draw cards super upgraded as much as we can get them at least. Uh oh. Not keen on what next turn is going to be. Because unless we kill the enemy, I'm uh, fearing a pretty rough time. Uh, okay, soul roll. Woo. Get him. Is there anything in there that's a permanent effect? Yeah, there's more power stuff like that. All right, fine. Restock for as many cards as we can get. We get the more power. Play that. Then I already have lethal. So we'll use indignation, burning, go through as many cards as possible. Fine. We didn't get to play the other card that I wanted. Unknown upgraded colors card. Sure. Vexing draft. I mean, maybe that's the way that we end a fight. Serpent idol seems reasonable for the amount of damage that we want to be putting out. Dex potion is not huge for us. Vexing Potion really does feel like it's going to be the way we close a fight, so we'll take that one. Uh, I don't need midline rests so much. Really smooth Stone. Probably didn't need that regret. Definitely did those in the wrong order. Drank the wrong corner. Um... Fine. Guess I shouldn't have even soul rolled those. Transmog. Trying to get rid of the all the smooth. Uh, switch with that, and then boom with the hyper beam. Regal pillow. I mean, I guess. Yeah, that's actually totally fine with me. Unknown upgraded draw card. Thank you. I would go rain of dice on the next one. I think though. The output of damage. We've taken very little damage on this floor as well. We haven't taken that many elites though at all. So it kind of explains it. Yep, I use those tackles without defending. Whoops. Uh, it'll happen. Because I'm trying to do the whole go fast thing. Pen nib. That's going to try and help us end a fight, hopefully. Quick move. Some defense. Yeah, sure. Some defense as well as some model so that I can play the rest of my aggressive cards. Seems good to me. Get the rain of dice to upgrade the amount of times that it can hit. Because we're trying to gain some strength. That seems reasonable for us. Serpent idol. Yeah, I'll just weaken the enemy given their turn. Otherwise, look pretty ridiculous. Saves from seven damage there. Uh... Gosh. You know what? I'm just making the enemy vulnerable. We're doing the eruption and the hyper beam. Oh, and I have to figure that out. Unknown egg. Unknown cards and card rewards are upgraded. Great. I mean, the majority of them already were, but I'm still, in still into it, rather. Uh, defensive player. Yeah, that's a giant amount of block in a single card. That's juicy. I'll take that. All right, Merchant. What do you want? Bop. 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 Mm. That's a lot of damage you're intending on doing there, friend. Have you considered not? Because I think you might find a lot of... Uh, a lot of joy in just not. Alright. Oh, I really wanted something that double damage was going to be, like, important on, you know? We've got double, double damage. Even if I Conjure Blade next turn, I'm not going to be able to cast the Conjured Blade. I'm holding out. There's the Conjure Blade. If we cast in Stasis, we'd be able to draw it that way. Maybe go to a Rothraw card, sure. And we still do more damage with this Neck Bite, I guess. Make the enemy vulnerable at the absolute least. All right. Get out of here, you scamp. I'll see you again later. Uh, let's get a weak card. Keep pen nib. I'm going to draw again. Membership card. Pretty good. I uh, don't think it's time for the cheap stock, though. Any of the rest of these? Yes. We still take evil within and then pass. Try and upgrade that as soon as possible as well. 
Gain two buffer. If you start the turn with buffer, gain... Yeah, that's, that's good. That's really good, in fact. I... I have to discard all of those except for the shockwave. I need some damage for the frontliners. Oh, wow. All right, yeah, that, that certainly counts. That certainly counts. Uh, I haven't played a boss guard this turn yet, I don't think. Automata beam. Fine. I guess that's still worthwhile for us. Ragnarok their worlds, and then Juicy Bracer versus Ring of Bolster and Flame. Ring of Bolster and Flame, definitely, and then we also take the Mob Fight Hand. Really, really pleased with that pickup. We'll take an improvised attack there to try and introduce more attacks into the deck. Should we not have good attacks in the base deck? Hide the Bandits, yeah, you know what? Let's do that. Let's also see if we can get the upgraded Bandit contract for the next floor. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Snack Bite. Really hoping that was going to be able to set up the uh, Sash Whip for us, unfortunately. It looks like we're just going to be taking 15 damage this turn. Gets us below half HP, right? So we do have a couple things in this deck that can be utilized more effectively right now as a result. Um, Gimme. Now I know for a fact that I've still got a 10 heal left in this deck in the last stand, as well as the oh, gem finder, transmogrify. We got so many options. I'm gonna hold. Could use Decker Shield to guarantee that I would have had damage this turn to kill. Would have been a bad idea. Nice. Take our kill after I heal the. Uh, again, a vulnerability card. Uh, at the start of each combat, add a cheat into your hand with retain. And so if we have that, that's the ability to guarantee the restock full draw. It's the ability to guarantee. It, it does so little. We'll take the membership card back. Strength, definitely. This is going to be a weird fight. Speaking of. I feel like I should leave that Reaper in the deck, but I also feel like I can't slow down. It's in with Evil Within. Set up a Hexaburn. Oh my god, that's perfect. No strength for you, and then... Oh, giant AoE effect. That was great. And then a Walker Claw. Oh! Uh, back in preparation. Yeah, the opening being faster is a lot better for us than that. The Soul Exchange here is reasonable, but only if it really gave us upgraded cards back, which it's not doing. Fine, I'll take the other card then. Oh, that's a Snekawai. Oh, yep. It's a hell of a lot of draw. And we have a lot of muddles in the deck as well, so we have the ability to save ourselves from a lot of bad costs. And a lot of the muddling cards are themselves unmuddlable. I don't really want to just dodge every elite if I can avoid it. I'll give myself a path where I have the ability to duck out of elites if if the situation calls for it. Yeah. Just a little bit of a hedge to that bet. Okay. Trying to make sure that no matter what I do there, I get as many cards in that hand out as possible. Oh my gosh. I have indignation to get back into it if I really want to. Not that I think I really want to here. Unless I lied and it turns out I do want to go back into it. Difficult to tell. Transmog and hit him with a Fierce Bash. Ring of the Snack. That's huge. The start of combat apply to uh, 0 to 2 weak and vulnerable to all enemies. I'll even take another Rain of Dice. I think that's a significant part of our output of damage. 
uh, upgrade a card, remove a card, upgrade a random card. Uh, do I have a curse in this deck? I do. Fine. We'll remove the regret. And yeah, upgraded the fan. Whatever. Totally comfy with that. No vulnerability access here in the first hand. This one's snack proof, so we'll just play that. Having known we would be able to. There's Omniscience, which can double play a card from our deck. Uh, double play the Wish. Getting money. Okay. Uh, Sorrow. Kill. Fine. Dead. Strength card, definitely. Serpent Idol again. Easy to get value out of. Loaded die. Cards that have a minimum number to choose plus one. Yep. Hexaburn's also actually really good there. And then we'll just cut a base strike from the deck and move on. I maybe... Oh, I think I did miss out on something important there, actually. Yeah, it's the... Oh, no, draw card. We'll still take that. And it's still the soul coins as well. Um, yeah. We're definitely making some suboptimal decisions as a result of playing fast. Definitely. Oh, no. I'm not going to contest that. I'm kind of fine with it, though. All part of the game. So I'll cleanse them. Should go in the other order with those. Fine. Still got the kill regardless. There's a power potion that's probably going to be necessary for later. Let's drop the vexing draw for that. I don't have the red mask, so I couldn't get the upgraded one. Dang. Yeah. Oh, no, never mind. I still got the upgraded version of it because I got the red mask, and then that gave me the extra option. Great. All right. We're going to have them help us in the final fight. Uh, Do I want a whetstone here? You know what? God, I'm going to regret this, aren't I? I'm going to regret this. Gave myself the ability to go to Nyao. I guess at this point, I kind of expect to die to Nyao. Uh. Apotheosis. Yes. Bottle Tornado puts card in the opening drawer. Which would I want that to be? Drawing two extra cards per turn? Yeah. Doesn't make me uh, confused because I'm already confused. Don't worry. Can't confuse what is already too confused. Let's identify and see if we can pull any of these that we're really keen on. Obviously, Whirlwind's a huge hit here. Hit with the more power and the corruption out there as well. Yeah, I don't know if I want to hit that Guardian World just yet. There, we're all good. Unknown, uncommon attack. Snake Sap, definitely. Anything that provides extra energy or the ability to kind of generate extra energy is fine by me. Uh, okay, we eruption, quick move, getting the vulnerability up from that. Let's soul roll, see if we get anything to a reasonable cost. We do. I knew that at the end of that turn we had the multi-beam to go through all of the other targets on the field though, so it's easy for us to choose the target to focus on there. Kill again, meat ticket, no, unknown draw, sure, let's, I guess, cut a card from the deck here, probably, yeah, especially because we still have the newly included, wait, where's the writhe? We added a writhe to the deck, where's the writhe? Um, there's no way I already removed it and forgot, right? There is a way that we did that. I have to imagine, because it's not there. Snake Proof gets buffer. Great for us. I'm going to throw all of those, just because I'm looking very specifically for the ability to make enemies. Oh, one sec. Looking very specifically for the ability to make enemy... And not uh, not make them vulnerable, right? Get into Wrath. Okay, we have an Omniscience. <laughs> Two day performs. I'm going to Omniscience the Transmog. See if we get something real cool. 
Get a more power out there. Fasting as well. Barbell. Uh, whenever you run to a rest side, if you have 10 non-upgraded cards. I actually don't have that many non-upgraded cards in the deck. And the Ring of the Snake will take back as well. That skill, take the horn cleat as well. Huge fan of that. Slither Strike, especially if we do, you know, if it reduces the cost of enough things in hand and we're drawing, you know, almost 10 cards per turn, it's quite likely to. Uh, it seems like that'd be good for us. Zerk. Ragnarok didn't get castable. And we didn't draw into anything that made it castable. It's fine. We have more fuel in the deck still. We've still got the Whirlwind in there, I believe. At the absolute least, we have that. Beautiful. Unknown card out to the deck. Another draw card. God, I'm adding a lot of draw cards to this deck right now, but it really feels like it's kind of fun. Oh, right, watcha. All hail Lord Red Mask. Hit him for 50. Another 35 and negative 3 to your decks, as well as 4 turns of vulnerability. Alright. I like it. Yeah, I just have to go all for it, is the thing here. I'm pretty sure. The more time I give the enemy to prepare here, the far worse off we're going to be. You're already in Divinity. It doesn't matter if I give you more. Unfortunately, I am also weak this turn. Am I doing double damage here? Berserker stance. Am I not in wrath? Why am I not in wrath? I could have sworn I was in wrath. Uh... May as well just try and hit those out. Restock as much as we can. Get back into Roth. Alright. Spirit Shield goes back and top the deck for the next turn, and then we'll kill next turn. Not my best HP ending this fight, but that's more than okay. Good cards. We've hit it exactly the moment we just hit it there. Beautiful. Alright. Two thumb, two thumb. That one's done. Let's wrap it. Yes, you brought him back. I'm going to put him back where he came from. Again, again. Ooh, demon form. Love that. Okay, that's a pretty good roll right there. Skip your next turn. I don't know if I want to skip my next turn. Enemies only buffing next turn. 60 damage is important. I can skip my next turn. go that was their buffing turn wish let's obviously put the dark embrace out on the board last stand can join it we're gonna need 50 defense this turn ideally uh yikes not how i wanted that one to go down we'll take 12 damage 12 oh right we're on the lower ascension so not 12 less than 12 
Hit him with a big walker claw there. Uh, ran his eyes two times in a whirlwind. and get him. Take the Lord of Die back as well as a Vajra. Beautiful. Hard pass there. What do you got? Shop. Unknown strength card. And then upgrade two cards in the deck. Sure. Let's identify one as well. Corruption's huge. All right. Let's find the chumps. I think we can get it through the chumps. I think it's going to be a, a, a war to do so, but I think we can get through these. Everything else? No. Yeah, fine. Destroy all of that. well there uh transmog's not really my primary so I take battle plan which actually did have its cost it wasn't in hand at the time weird hold for that to resolve in but now I know uh, I'm just gonna take you down don't need to dwell on that there's the beta Chrono boost. Great hit on that one. I mean, one for each South Sea draw pile. That's not going to do anything. We don't have any of the draw pile. Could have saved 28 damage there if I'd used the quick move, but I wanted to guarantee that we got the, um, the Omega still in the draw pile. Seems too important to me to pass up. Speaking of... There we go. We're going to do exactly the same thing again, but here we've had time to build up before we even got to this enemy. So it's going to be kind of different. There you go. You still do minimal damage on turn two, if I recall correctly, right? There's turn three I really have to worry about. Certainly seems that way. All right, you're dead. I think we'll use the potion on the very first turn in the next fight, regardless, just in case it happens to be huge. Probably going to use the armor extinguisher on the second turn. God, we're going to give the enemy mantra constantly. It's going to be wild. Right, Power potion gives us... We'll take mud shields. So what's up? Snake sap for a ridiculous amount of draw. And Evil Within for more boss cards. Love it. Let's get Buffer. And then I'm going to use Warcry to put a Chrono Boost atop the deck. At Warcry, it puts the Chrono Boost atop the deck so that I have the ability to play it this turn. Seems too important not to. There you go, cop some goop. Okay, this is the turn I want to use the armor extinction on now instead. Uh, sure. So defend. Okay, we got enough defense there. Do I want to skip my next turn? Not really. I want to deal CC7 damage, kind of. I think I can settle for the Fiend Fire, though. I'm keeping my buffer, so I'm gaining more strength still. Shouldn't break my own buffer with the Hemokinesis here if I can avoid it. I can avoid it, so I will avoid it. 
There goes my Hexa. We set it off earlier, or rather set it up earlier. It sets up now. Uh, yikes. I would love to play that offering right now. Should turn on to this one. Definitely taking a risk against the enemy here. Uh, Alright. What do we got here? Bug Barrage. Fine. That'll at least cycle me through this void. And wound. Gives me the draw. We... Trash to treasure the ancient construction. I'll use Soul Draw to get... Yeah, sure. More Anclad cards. Okay. I'm just increasing the amount of damage the enemy is going to be doing to me this entire time. If I don't... I'm not going to be able to kill them this turn. In fact, they're invulnerable for all of it, so... I guess I need the ability to exit my stance. That's not going to happen. I have nothing that brings me back to life either. You did more buffer if I was going to try and do that. Um, going into intangibility was one of the huge problems there. Obviously, just trying to go for the kill on that turn was also one of the problems there. If I had slowed down on that final turn, not just triggered them constantly, that is to say their, uh, their mantra. Their mantra stacks as well. They just get 10 strength every time you hit 10 on a single turn, which means... If you want to go off, you better be able to guarantee a kill that turn. Um, I kind of knew that going in, but at the same rate, I was like, I'm either going to be able to generate enough defense or I'm going to get more buffer or I'm going to get a stance extra uh, exit. If I had more time, that's to say if I wasn't speedrunning, I would have checked my draw pile, checked my discard pile, thought about the odds of those kinds of things, probably come down on the side that it was going to be too risky. But honestly, kind of happy with how that one ended. It did pretty much exactly what I expected at the very start, and had said the entire way through. It did also manage to win the Ascension 1 run as well. It's just the Nyao afterwards that it did not manage to triumph against. For the moment, though, my name's Rhapsody. The name of the game is Moonslay the Spire. That's been Sneko. Hopefully you've been enjoying yourselves, and hopefully we'll see you next time.